since the growth of online content, particularly video content, everybody has a video camera on them 24 seven. There's a giant volume of people that most would consider first amendment auditors, meaning they just kind of stir up a little bit of trouble with cops and, or go somewhere and make people feel uncomfortable and then put phones in the faces of cops and uh, essentially uh, challenge their First Amendment rights. And oftentimes what we see is police officers are just completely unaware of really what they should and should not do in those situations. Well, now what we have is what is being referred to as Second Amendment auditors, open carry Second Amendment auditors. You might even call them First and Second Amendment auditors because they're doing the same thing, but they're open carrying. Now, I strongly believe every American should have the right to carry both open and concealed if they desire. I also believe there's certain types of open carry that, you know, sure you have the right to do it, but you know, it's kind of foolish. It's just freaking people out. It's just going to stir up trouble for you. Uh, even if you do have the right to do it, it, it still stirs up trouble. Now, and also depending on what city, county, state, you know, throughout all America, you have the right constitutionally, but you know, of course, as we see states and local governments infringe on those rights and many places in this country you cannot open carry and you're definitely going to run into trouble with police officers if you do in those places but here is my biggest concern much like the police officers engaging with the first amendment auditors what we're seeing with the second amendment auditors is uh, police officers are just simply not trained um, on what constitutional rights individuals have when it comes to open carrying. Uh, so they're, you know, again, going at it, infringing on your constitutional rights, stirring up trouble. And that's really what these auditors want. The more trouble the cops stir up, the more wrong the police are, the more viral the video is going to go. Um, and that's really kind of the problem I have with watching these videos isn't that people are out doing it. You know, they have the right to do it. It's, I believe it's foolish, but they have the right to do it. Go do it if you want, if that's what you desire. But the biggest concern again is the fact that we're seeing firsthand police officers not train properly on understanding citizens' rights with firearms. Lots of people are getting arrested for doing nothing wrong at all. Lots of people are engaged in skirmishes with police officers for doing nothing wrong at all simply because police officers around this country, um, you know, obviously not all of them, but clearly a lot of them simply don't know how to handle that situation and have not been trained appropriately. Uh, so any thoughts or insight in that? Uh, you know, I don't know how you change this. Uh, maybe we just, these Second Amendment audits keep showing the foolishness of certain departments. And when they see the foolishness of certain departments, ideally the chief of that department would say, hey, we better train our officers on, on what it is we should be doing. So, you know, again, I don't think Second Amendment auditors are wise <laughs> necessarily because I do think it's a foolish act. Uh, it's your right, so go for it if that's what you desire. Uh, but I do think we're learning a lot from it. That I believe so. And, and I do believe that uh, police officers are learning a lot from it as well. So there's definitely some good coming from it. Any thoughts or insight? Put it below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, oh God, love your family, and love guns. I want to take a moment and talk about this struggle we're having with this channel. It's really kind of the way that gun channels are interacting with Google and YouTube is affecting us, and it's affecting our ability to be able to produce content. So I want to take a moment and just ask you to support us on Patreon, where a lot of the content we can't put here is going, and it supports this ministry.